A graphic tablet is always good to have, there is no doubt about it, but I do know a lot of people who have a tablet but it's just collecting dust and they still stick to their laptop trackpads for some reason. So it may not be for everyone. In this video, we're going to ask ourselves 10 very simple questions that's going to help us figure out whether you really need a graphic tablet or not. And trust me, there are situations when you actually don't need it. This video is not sponsored by any graphic tablet company, although I might make recommendations based on what I have actually used for many, many years. So let's get started. Question number one, how much precision do you need with your photo editing? What do we mean by that? If your photo editing is mostly slider based, so let's say in this case, I just hit auto for now. I work with these sliders. This is something I like, I hit okay. Even for the retouching, let's say you are using some plugins. So I have this basic action that plays all the retouch for me plugins. If you want to know more about that, there is another video. But the point is you're not doing anything manually in the canvas that requires precision. Here is the before. And here is the after with all the retouching, everything done. And maybe you'll just tweak the opacity or do some simple color grading. So for example, here is dodge and burn. If you think it's too much, you would decrease the opacity. So all of what we did requires very less precision or no precision at all. And for these kind of edits, you don't really need a tablet, although I'm so habituated to it right now. However, if you're doing anything complex that requires precision, for example, masking out this hair. So here's the before. Look at how complex the hair is. We have to use hair brushes to paint in a bunch of hair. So here's the after. Have a look at the mask right here. We painted a hell lot. We would take a hairbrush like this and then just paint and this does take a lot of time and if you were doing it with a mouse you would grow old doing this not just that we also painted a bunch of hair on top to make it look more realistic so here's a little bit of paint so this is painted here here's more and then here is some more see and that is why for precise work like this example and maybe something like adding details to the eyes so here's the before Here's the after. All of that, all of those details are painted. And a graphic tablet is a must in those cases. The second question is, do you create digital art or do you often draw, sketch, create some illustrations in Photoshop? If that is the case, you definitely need a graphic tablet for three main reasons. Number one, control. It is kind of impossible to have the kind of control you will have with a pen than a mouse. So right now I'm drawing this and I don't even have smoothing turned on. It is just freehand. You see that? The second reason is pen pressure. With a mouse, it is either on or off. But with a graphic tablet, if you press softly, the size is smaller with this brush. If you press harder, the size is bigger. You can also control opacity with pen pressure. You can also control flow, lots of other options. And the final reason is speed. Let's say you choose a pencil brush and you started sketching like this. Of course, you have control over the pressure, but also imagine doing the same thing with the mouse. It would take you a lot more time and effort to do that. Question number three, how much do you use brush based tools? Not just the brush tool. If you use the brush tool a lot, definitely you need a graphic tablet, but I'm talking about other tools like for example, the remove tool, which is a brush based tool, just like a brush. Let's say you want to remove all of these spots from here and if there is a lot of work like this for you to do, this will definitely speed up your workflow. But if you're using it once in a while or a lot less, maybe you don't need it. Question four is very much linked to question number three, and that is, do you need to speed up your workflow? If time is of the essence for you, no matter what you do in Photoshop, this will speed up your workflow. Even if it's something that doesn't involve precision, it will speed up your workflow. So if you want to save time, this is something definitely you must consider. Do you or do you not perform manual high-end retouching in your day-to-day -day workflow? I'm not talking about using plugins. I'm talking about whether you do manual high-end retouching in your day-to-day -day workflow. If the answer is yes, you definitely need a graphic tablet. Let's say you want to remove this eye bag right here. So with the brush white as the color, changed the blend mode of the layer to soft light. I just have to paint a few strokes right here. That's all. And to have that kind of precision, it's very hard to have with a mouse. And just with a few strokes, and I'm doing a very fast job right here, it removed it very easily. Similarly right here as well, and it has actually absolutely gone. See that? Let me share with you the before and after, and this is by the way a very, very quick job. So here's the before. And here is the after. If you give it more time, here is the overall before and after. So here's the before and here 
is the after entirely different thing. With high-end retouching, you definitely, definitely need a graphic tablet. Question number six, how long do you work with Photoshop? How many hours do you spend with it? Because with a graphic tablet, you will have the ergonomics and comfort that you wouldn't have with a mouse. If you spend long hours in Photoshop with just your mouse, it can create major, major strain in your wrist and hand. So you want to avoid that. And if you prioritize ergonomics and comfort, and if the mouse is giving strain to you and you're spending long hours in Photoshop, definitely consider one. Question number seven. If you create some composites or designs, how complex is it? In this case, as you can see, it is just an arrangement of different elements with some text here. So we have the background, some graphics, text, and texture, crop marks and stuff. But nothing that requires a lot of precision if these elements are pre-made. We just arranged one on top of the other and added some text. If that is the case, you may not need it. But if you're doing complex composites where you need to paint the light, do advanced masking, in those cases, you might thank yourself that you have one. In this case, I have painted the rim light right here. Let me share with you the before and after. So before adding all of this light, not looking realistic, after adding that light, it is blending better. So if I turn one of these off, let me share with you how it happens. I'm gonna delete the mask right here for now. Turn it on, create a negative mask, take the brush and slowly and gradually paint this light right here. See that? And you definitely need something like a tablet to make the process faster and more precise. Question number eight, is Photoshop a hobby for you or it's a profession? If it's a profession, no questions asked, you need it. But if it's a hobby, you need to ask yourself whether you're considering a professional future with it. If yes, you need one. If it's still a hobby and you want to take that hobby seriously, you may need one. But if it's a hobby and you're just starting out and you don't see the use for it, you may not need it now. Question number nine, and this is a crucial one. Are you comfortable learning a new tool? This is a tool. And the question might seem very obvious and it might seem like it's not an issue. I can easily learn that. But trust me, I have met people both old and young who have purchased a tablet, used it for a few days, they didn't feel like it, they didn't feel comfortable with it, so they gave it up and it's collecting dust. So know that there's a learning curve to it because it's a completely different experience and here is why. Let's say you have the cursor of your mouse in one corner of the screen. If you lift the mouse and even if you take it to the other end of the table and you drop it there, it starts from that point where you left it. But in a tablet, it's different. The entire area of the tablet is mapped to the screen. Think of it like a touch screen. So if the cursor is there, if I lift my pen and move to the other end of the tablet, my cursor automatically goes to the other end of the screen. So it's mapped to the screen. It's a different experience and it has a learning curve to it. But trust me, once you get a hang of this, there is no going back. Question number 10, and it's also a very important one. Do you have the budget for it now? I don't want you to spend the money that you don't have. Please save for it and only and only then buy it. I've used Wacom tablets for all of my Photoshop life and I'm not saying they're perfect and they have not sponsored this video. They have their quirks, but they are good tablets. And these days you can get the Intua series for as low as $40. But that doesn't mean that $40 is nothing. When I was starting out, even saving up that amount was hard for me. And as a student, it took a while to buy this one. It looked different back then to buy a, a similar model for $40. So you can get the Intua series for this amount, there is the range. This is, I think, the international website. I'll leave links in the description as well if you are interested. The one that I'm using right now is the Intuos Pro series. And for the Intuos Pro, I use the medium size because I have a larger monitor. If you have a smaller monitor or you don't want to move your hand too much, you can go for a smaller size. Large size is not really needed unless you have a huge monitor with maybe lots of screens, but then medium does the job perfectly for me. And these things last like 10 years. And most accessories you can buy separately. For example, if the grip runs out, you can buy grips right here. If the pen goes bad, you can buy a separate pen. If the texture sheet, so this is not just a surface, it's a sheet, you can peel that off. If it's worn out too much with your sketching and painting, you can buy a brand new sheet which will make your tablet brand new. It's like a brand new screen on your phone. Of course, the nibs are replaceable too and inside the stand, you will find lots of nibs. So that's all for this video. I hope it helps you decide whether you need a graphic tablet or not, but please do me a favor. Please take the time to make a decision and then make a purchase because I don't want you to buy that thing, use it for two days and then have it collect dust in your shelf. Please don't do that. At least sell it to somebody else, give it to somebody else. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you 
keep creating. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh, uh, uh.